Straight from Bedrock, I have a list of everybody's favorite Stone Age family, the Flintstones, Fred, Wilma, and Pebbles. We're going to turn this list into a multi-level list, and we're going to define how it looks. We're going to start by selecting the list. Then we're going to go up here to our paragraph section in our home tab, and right here, this big button that says multi-level list, we'll click there and you see we have a number of list styles that we can select. Uh, we're going to try this one first. And you see that? Look at that. And I know you're saying, well, Bill, it's just a numbered list. And it's even showing me that there. But that's okay. What we're going to do is turn this into the second level by simply clicking in front of the word the and hitting tab. That's level two. We're going to go and tab over a couple times in front of Fred, in front of Wilma, and three times in front of Pebbles. And there's your multi-level list. Pretty easy, isn't it? But that's okay. We're going to do more than just that. We're going to define how this looks, because I don't really like the characters that we're using here. So we're going to go back up here to our multi-level list, and we'll see we have a number of choices. I can choose these, which is just symbols. I can go ahead and, well, that's very similar to what we have. There's all kinds of list styles in here, but what I want to do is define a new multi-level list because I'm going to create my own. All right, so for number one, the first level, and you'll see I have my levels here. I can go down to nine. I also have them here. Now I can choose that level by clicking through this way, or I can click over here. I'll start on level one, and we'll see that we have the format, and that's that one with the closed parentheses. I can change the font by clicking on that font button and I can pick any font that I have on my computer but I'm okay with the one I have it's just fine it's this Calibri 18 and I don't want to start with number one so I'm gonna go down here number style for this level let's change that you see I have Roman numerals I have lowercase Roman numerals letters first second and third one two three numbers bullets I can go ahead and select the new bullet style. I can choose from what's there. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose this one, the star. And that is what we'll see here for level one. All right, let's go on down to level two, the Flintstones. Okay, that's kind of our top level after the town of Bedrock. So we're going to make that important. We'll make the Flintstones the first family of Bedrock. So I'm going to choose the number style and I can decide whether I want the closed parentheses or nothing. I'm just going to put in a period. So it's one period. Yeah, just like that. Level 3, Fred and Wilma. Now this should be a little bit more generic, so maybe we will put in... How about A, B? And I'll leave that with the parentheses. That's good. Level 4, Pebbles. Well... Pebbles is the first of their children, and I don't want that to be with an open parenthesis. I'll close it, though, just like that. And that looks good. I will go and click OK and see that? Change my list style. Now, we're going to go ahead and add some more to this list. We want to add uh, the second family of bedrock the rubbles so I will just click enter to go ahead and make another line and you'll see that it gave me second it gave me another list item at this same level that's not what I want I want it to be here at this second level so how do I do that simple hit your enter key again and see it takes it up one more level hit my enter again and it brings me out there and this time, we will add the rubbles. And I'm going to enter this way and tab over. And we will get Barney. Not Bernie. <laughs> Barney. Hit my enter again, and you'll see that it brought me down again, as always, to that same level. Betty. Enter again. Tab over. And we will have their lovely and charming adopted son, Bam Bam. 
And if I decided I didn't want that list that I created, which is now up here, say, ah, you know, after all of that, maybe I just want something like this. I can change it that easily, or I can go back to what we had. And that's how we can create that multi-level list. It's pretty easy, isn't it? All right, gang, thanks. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more great Microsoft Office tutorials, subscribe to Train Signal's YouTube channel, Train Signal Office, or you can visit www.trainsignal.com for more information regarding our complete Microsoft Office training library.